Hey everyone, welcome to Virtual History 360. What if I told you that a certain astronaut snuck a certain sandwich into space? Hi everyone, welcome to Virtual History 360. I'm Mr. Wade and today I am in Mitchell, Indiana. Now, what's Mitchell, Indiana? Well, it's a little town, it's in southern Indiana, but why am I here? I'm here at the Virgil I. Grissom Memorial. If you look behind me, you can see the entrance here. This is the memorial to Gus Grissom. Gus Grissom was a true American hero. He served a little during World War II, flew over 100 missions during Korea, and was a pioneer of our space program. Okay? Now, why is that a big deal? Well, what did he do? Oh my goodness, where to start? Well, for starters, he was one of the original seven astronauts chosen by NASA. Notice my shirt that I have on. And he was the second man behind only Alan Shepard to fly in space in the Mercury program. Well, after Mercury, he was involved in designing the Gemini program. Now, the Gemini program, he was the first two-person ship to go into space. And there's a really interesting story about that trip with John Young, but we're going to share that in a second when we go inside, okay? Now, if you look right here, and I'll be honest, I've never tried posting a picture in here before. It should be here. This is the Molly Brown. This was the Gemini shuttle, or excuse me, the Gemini capsule he was in. Now, after he flew, now being the first man to fly twice in space, he then worked on the Apollo program. Now, unfortunately, Apollo 1, there was a disaster. There was a spark that ignited the oxygen inside the capsule, and they couldn't open the escape hatch, and he died. But don't remember him just for that. He was a true pioneer, and remember him as the real American hero. That is why you come to places like the Grissom Memorial here. But like I said, let's end on a lighter note. Let's talk about a story that he and John Young shared. Let's go inside. Welcome back, Virtual History 360. Now I am inside the memorial, and inside this memorial is a museum to everything you can think of regarding the space because Grissom was one of the pioneers. But one thing that I really want to bring to your attention is this right here. It's inside this case. I hope you can see it. This right here, I'm going to walk around this just so you can see a little better. This is a corned beef sandwich. It's preserved in resin, like a lucite, okay? This sandwich, right here, actually flew in space. Crazy, right? This was snuck on board by John Young. Now, there's my Florida connection, you know? I'm Central Florida, John Young Parkway. Yeah, that astronaut, yeah, that's him right here. They flew up and he snuck the corned beef sandwich in the back of his uh, suit. He took it out, he had Grissom take a bite, and then they saw the crumbs. That could end pretty badly, so he tucked it away. And when they, NASA found out, they weren't very pleased, but they saved it. The sandwich is on display here. So, pretty cool, huh? All right, so I'm going to end this video here, all right? I told you a few things, but if you like videos like this, you know, you can find history, even in Indiana, even in Florida, wherever you are, okay? Go ahead and hit like, hit subscribe, and, you know, leave a question or anything you want to say in the comments, okay? All right, for Virtual History 360, I'm Mr. Wade. Thank you.